Hey everyone, Monique here with Nose Prints. This is Lola. You guys have never met her before. Uh, we adopted her uh, about a year and a half ago for behavioral reasons, which is why we're going to talk about behavior issues, right? Because she's bad girl. So about a year and a half ago, uh, uh, we got a phone call from our local veterinary behaviorist, Dr. Lisa Radasta. Um, she had a case, a patient, that um, couldn't stay with her owners and the other bulldog in the household any longer. Um, she was fighting with the other bulldog, which happened to be her mother, to the point where they were just trying to kill each other. And um, it was a little overwhelming for the owners. Uh, they tried a couple of things, but they knew it was going to be a long haul and a lot of work and um, they just didn't have it in them. We took Lola on because we knew that it was going to be a long road and that most people wouldn't actually put the time, effort, and money into it. So we brought Lola home and she tried to kill every animal in our house. Uh, so it was a really long, painful, stressful time but well worth it um you know she was pretty much damaged goods when we got her and um with dr radasta's help we were able to put her on bye bye we were able to put her on a lot of different medications antidepressants um and basically what dr radasta had me do first thing was how to train her to be calm and to avoid stressful situations. And everything in Lola's life at the time was stressful. She was overly reactive to any animal. She just assumed that every animal was out to kill her. So she didn't even give them a chance to show them that they couldn't care less about her. So we went through uh, about a year of different medications, and a lot of training. We trained uh, about four times a day, just for a couple of minutes a day, to teach her how to be calm on a mat. And um, to, to this day, she couldn't care less about the cats any longer. Um, and Bishop, our older boy, for the most part, she's totally fine with him. Sometimes he's, because he's old, sometimes he trips on her um, and she thinks that he's attacking her, but it's really, really rare. Um, she, she has come such a long way, but if we didn't take her, she'd probably be in foster care, she, or dead, because of how reactive she was. And um, it was just a blessing that we we're there at the right place at the right time.